Hi, thanks for tuning into the video. We're gonna be covering the 2020 Big Game Drawing. It's coming up on June 2nd, it's less than a month away, and there's a lot of information to cover. Stay tuned. Welcome to Budget Hunter. The purpose of this channel is to provide information and resources about hunting and fishing on the cheap. Also, as a SoCal native, I focus particularly on information about hunting in the Golden State. We're going to be focusing this video on the 2020 Big Game Digest that just came out, specifically the drawing coming up on June 2nd. This drawing is for those premium deer tags, elk, pronghorn, and bighorn sheep. Uh, there's a lot of information, there's a lot of opportunities that are out there, including some of the fundraising drawings as well. What we're going to do is just walk through step by step some of the information that's out there and uh, maybe a few tips and tricks as well. Alright, let's dive right into the 2020 Big Game Hunting Digest, particularly the Big Game Drawing that's coming up in less than a month. So he's come through here, the few items that are real key to hit on are the license and fees, how the drawing works, this drawing worksheet is super helpful and then also want to look at uh, just some of the opportunities that are there, any changes that have happened. We're not going to dive in specifics of the deer zones, the deer drawings, and even the specific zones for elk, pronghorn, bighorn sheep. That's all going to be covered on another video. What's important right now is just to understand a big picture, especially if you're new to hunting in California, but you say, you know what, it's a month away, I've been cooped up inside, I want to be able to get out and I want to be able to try it. This is my year. So here's my thought process on applying for some of these hunts. You know, I am a first time hunter going in to California big game draw. I have no points and I am just looking for a good opportunity to be able to get some hunting and get my boots on the ground and hopefully be able to at least put some meat in my freezer. So my thought process here is I'm going to go ahead and apply for a premium deer tag. I'm going to try to get one of these X zone hunts. I was actually up by my in-laws recently. You can see this picture and I was able to see a whole group of mule does that were just grazing and uh, there's so many deer up there. It's so plentiful. So I definitely want to at least go for it, even if it's in a one in 200 or one in a thousand shot that I'll be able to get chosen. And then uh, near us, I live near the D11, 13, 12 zone uh, down here in Los Angeles. And so I think I'm gonna apply for something that's nearby. My thought process is due to budget, timing, time off from work, I don't have the opportunity to be able to go and do a multi-day, three, four, or five day hunt. I'm gonna try to find some opportunities where I can maybe pack in the night before or even drive out super early the morning of, be able to get in, get my feet on the ground, and then maybe return back to the same spot a couple times over the season. And so my thought process is go for the big one, go for that premium tag, and then otherwise be able to come back and uh, be a little bit closer to home so that I'm not away from the wife and kids so much. Uh, now, with that, I have my premium tag for deer. I also want to get a pig tag because you know, as you look at the prices for a pig tag, you know, I'm I'm looking at potentially you know, 24 bucks to be able to go out. There's a lot of opportunities that are out there and there are some opportunities through share hunts, which I'll talk about later uh, on another video to uh, maybe be able to get into at least an area where there's a better concentration of those animals. And so I definitely want to be able to go for that. I mean, the amount of meat that you get off a wild pig for the price of the tag is, is just a phenomenal deal. So let's just look at some of the preliminary information and then we can dive into specifics on a later video. So. First, let's look at some of these hunting and license and fees. Resident hunting license is 5102, and then some of your tags that will be available, your deer, your bear, uh, drawing applications are so cheap. And I, I just, even from a budgeting perspective, I mean, you can go in and get a pr at least a preference point to start working towards some of these hunts that might take years to be able to get. Uh, you know, for $8, right? And so, you know, the way I think about it right now is even though I'm not ready to go out and drop $450 in multiple days on an elk tag or a bighorn sheep tag, what I can do is go ahead and start getting those points accumulated. And then over on the fundraising side, these tags, if you're not familiar with them, 
they are all inclusive. So if you're able to get this drawing, even if it's a one in 10,000 chance, the reality is, is that you can come in and with no additional fees, be able to go on a hunt for six bucks. It's incredible. As a note, those fundraising drawings are available for more than one zone. And what I mean by that is if you do somehow get selected for the pronghorn drawing, it's good for any of the six zones that are up here in Northeastern California. And then same for the elk, it's not available for any zone, but the Owens Valley area is comprised of the majority of these inland desert region hunts. And so you get a really widespread, way more than you typically have. I mean, you're talking about the opportunity potentially to be able to capture one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zones, all with one tag if you are able somehow to get that big drawing application. This is such a great opportunity to be able to get in for six bucks to uh, try to get one of these literally once in a lifetime type hunts. Now something that's super helpful as you're getting ready for the drawing is to scroll down to this worksheet. Now. Typically, if you're going to go do some sales out over the counter at an office, you'd use this worksheet. But especially this year with COVID-19, imagine everyone's going to be doing this online through the online internet snail sales portal. But this worksheet is super helpful because as you're going through and as you know, drawing applications are maybe numbered like they are with elk or pronghorn or bighorn sheep, you could end up you know, getting one number wrong and then having the wrong selection. And so, and let's say you even did get drawn, you know, you want to make sure you have the right thing. And so by going through, filling out this ahead of time, super helpful. All right, so I am on the online wildlife sales website. I have a hunting license added to my account. And now I'm going to go through and actually add in the deer drawing application, my elk, my pronghorn, bighorn sheep, and then some of the fundraising applications as well. So with each one of these, you can see the price point is here. These drawing application fees, you have to remember, this is just for the drawing. Your actual tag fees are later. However, with these, the 674, if you do get drawn, that is your total fee, which in my mind, that's worth, it's, it's basically like trying to just win the lottery on these with the kinds of odds that are out there, but I say it's worth it. And then for all of my other tags, you know, as I'm thinking it through, uh, as I'm thinking through small game, upland bird, uh, you know, maybe even my pig tag, I'm not gonna spend the money on that right away because thinking about just spacing this money out, you know, let's say I do get drawn in the middle of June for a pronghorn tag, you know, some by some miracle, right? I have $162 I need to put down. And so I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna uh, just take take my time, you know, plan out my hunts. Uh, the, the website's really clear. It says, you know, it's gonna take you 15 days for you to get that tag. You know, they're not available immediately. So I'm gonna plan through that uh, as I am gonna go out and do my hunts. But I also wanna be able to spread out the cost a little bit and uh, basically know that I'm putting down my $51 for my hunting license. I'm putting down the money for my deer drawing application. And just those enough are gonna get me pretty close to almost $100 between that and my other drawing applications. I'm gonna just hold on that, let that be what I do for now, and then be able to to pick up the pieces from there, what I want to do next as I strategize, see where I was drawn, and see what my opportunities are. On future videos over the next few weeks, I'm going to start to detail the deer zones along with those for elk, pronghorn antelope, and bighorn sheep. I want to be able to take the time and really give justice to look at the some of the preliminary stats from 2019, and then also look at the opportunities that are there for 2020. Thanks for tuning in to this video. This is actually my first YouTube video and I'd really appreciate it if down below you would give it a thumbs up and maybe write a comment, just say something you like, more information you'd like to have, what are some budget hunting topics that might interest you? If you could let me know, I'll read those, I'll respond, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.